Hey everybody, Chris here from Chef Wannabe's Life and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you of tear tray accessories. If you want to see what I picked up, keep on watching. All right, so I decided that today when the wind chill is minus 28 degrees, yes, you heard that right, minus 28 degrees, that I would go hit up a couple of Dollar Trees because I have a project that I am in the middle of and I just want to get it done. But I'm so excited to share with you all of this stuff that the main project you're not going to see till after this video. So here we go with what I found at the Dollar Tree for tear tray accessories. Are you guys into tear trays like I am? I actually have a video for a tear tray that I made a few years ago and I'll link that up here. And you can see I still have that and it has evolved into every room of my house. <laughs> And it is currently on my bathroom counter decorated, and I love it. So I wanted to see what I could find at the Dollar Tree, or really inexpensive, because I, I like to change them up all the time. And I like to have a lot of choices. So this is what happens to me when I get into something. I just find any way to find all of the options I can. And actually, if you went to a thrift store, you could probably buy things even and even cheaper than a buck. But I wanted to hit Dollar Tree, so here are some things that I found. I took everything out of the bag because that bag noise some days, I, I can't. So here we go. I'm going to start with one project first, and that is I'm redoing my foyer, big foyer wall. So I'm going to show you things that are going to get used for that first. I have this. I picked this up. Like, these are going to come off. Those are all going to come off, and this is going to get covered. But I have the structure here that I want to use. And remember that, you know, especially things at the Dollar Tree. Like, a lot of these things are going to change up the color that they are. And so you can always do that. They don't have to stay as long as they give you the structure you want. This Is Us is going to get taken out of here. And then I will paint this background differently, and then I'll put the This Is Us back up. And I may paint the This Is Us a different color as well, but this is going to rock on my foyer wall. Next, oh, I think everything else is tear tray related, you guys. <sighs> I love some of this stuff I got. I'm going to start with my favorite, and that is... I didn't get all of the ones in the collection, but because a couple of them, I just, they just weren't cute to me. But the fairy garden buildings, we have this little ladybug house, and I call my youngest granddaughter my ladybug, so. Then we have the teapot. How cute is the teapot house? It has like the little flower and a stem, and oh, isn't that precious? And then we have the little, like, tulip house. And yellow tulips are my favorite. So I, I had to get this. And it has the two little, little mushrooms. Oh, you guys, these are perfect for tear trays. They're colorful enough and big enough to make a statement. But they're small enough that they can just be, like, tucked in if you need to just tuck them in somewhere. And I just think they're adorable. Next is a boring thing, but the hot glue sticks. Do you find that there's a difference between the Dollar Tree ones and maybe more expensive ones? I've had to go to a mini glue gun after I started losing my vision, so um, I just pick them up there. I've never had any problem with them, but let me know if, if you um, have had issues with these. This is going to be a tear tray thing. I just now realized, okay, because this is the second time I've recorded this video, but I just realized this is attached. What the what? No, so this thing will be coming off. Pro 
probably, unless I find something amazing. Let me know, what would you do up here? Because something's going in here, but this, no, I can't have this. Give me some ideas of what you would do with that up there. Sorry if the lighting's weird, but I have my patio door open. And I needed to come in here because my office is freezing, people. I think dead people live in there. So, next I just bought this little stem. I like the color of green, this kind of sagey green. And I like the berries. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. And I don't know if these are pink or the other P word. You know, the word I don't like to use. But regardless, I'm calling them pink. And they'll be really cute in like a little tiny small vase or something. Now, these, I'll save these for in a minute. I also found this little bird, and most of this, a lot of this I found in the Crafter Square section. So I found this little bird, and actually I'm going to make a little nest that he's going to sit in. I'm assuming it's a he. I'm going to call it a he. And he's going to sit in a little nest. All right. Here is a tear tray option. The blessed, I love it. I love the the heart and that they make it look, you know, like distressed wood. And I like this natural wood. And so, yeah, I really like that a lot. Next is something from the garden section. And it's called a flower pot hugger. See how it goes like on your flower pot? I'm going to use him for tear tray decor. I'm either going to, it'll depend on what I do. I'll either leave these little little bendy things on or I'll pop them off or bend them down. Oh, they unscrew as well. And just lean them like against the middle piece of your tear tray or what, however, you know, there's a million ways you can do it. But that might not be a place that you would think of for your accessories. And I got another, I got another accessory there. Let me find him. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. He's my frog. How cute is this little frog? Now, I don't like frogs, but he makes me happy. And his fingers are funny, and his eyeballs are bulging just like my Sophia's. And he has a blue belly, and I just think he's cute. Not in real life, I hate frogs. I, I, frogs are right up there with snakes and birds for me. But see, I bought a bird too. See, I'm facing my fears and my decor. Anyway, he makes me happy, and is he? does he match all of my decor perfectly? No. Do I care? No, because he makes me happy. Don't ever pass up something because it doesn't match your decor. Surround yourself with things that make you happy. Next, oh, I found this, and I'm sure this is supposed to hold rings. It's very cheap. It's plastic. This is going to get changed out. The color of it is. I thought this would look really cute in like the top of a tear tray. Um, yeah, I just, I like the shape of this tree and I like that it's got the little leaves and that. So we'll give that a go. Um, I already showed you that. Oh, this will be for Easter. Um, these little eggs, they just say foam eggs. And if you can see, like here on this one, they have the little, like, loops on them. Um, I have my, I left my miniature Christmas tree up in my office, and I want to, and I left the white lights on it, and I want to decorate it for each holiday. I don't know why, because I don't want it to, like, lose its specialness for the holidays, but it's in my guest room. I kind of, like, if I'm going to have company... My guest room and my office are the same. If I'm going to have company, I like to, um, like, plug in that tree almost as like a little night light or a little soft ambient light. Anyway, then I found this and two things about this. This is going to be a mine versus theirs video and this is going to get changed as well. Wait till you see... <laughs> The price I found this for at a different store in a different color. 
almost the exact same size and shape, and then what I'm going to make it for. You're going to probably wet your pants. And then the last couple things, um, and these are for the main, like for the tear tray that I'll be making. These are burner covers. Again, these will be painted and changed out. You get a big one and a small one. Big, excuse me, big one, small one in each package. And I picked up two of those. Doesn't they don't need to match? I actually tried to pick up ones that I thought would cover easiest with less coats of paint, which I didn't do, but whatever, right? And then the last two things are a cake plate from Dollar Tree and a pie pan. And these again will be a tear tray. So, oh, I didn't show you. Um, I also bought two plungers. Wait till you see what I'm doing with those. So, that is what I picked up. My tear tree, my tear tree, my tear tray extravaganza. And let me know if you're into tear trays like I am um, and what you do with yours or if you have any ideas for any of these things, especially this one. Like, what, what do I do up here? Do I just paint it white and put, like, a word? Or I don't know what to do up there. I'm sure I'll figure something out if you don't give me any ideas, but it would be cool if you did. So, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I upload. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, do not forget to eat good food.